I just woke up. It was Wednesday morning, and uh, I have a shit ton of stuff to do today. Ooh, my voice is low. As I was waking up earlier, uh, I I heard what sounded like a riot outside, somewhere in the distance, which is weird, <clears throat> although not entirely unlikely. Uh, I think there are three possibilities. Uh, one, there actually was or is a riot out there somewhere, at which point, finally, hopefully the apocalypse has started. Second, uh, somebody might just be watching a movie in the apartment next door or something like that, where there is a riot going on, also entirely a possibility, or they are shooting a movie somewhere outside where there is a riot. In this town, that is also a very plausible possibility. Plausible possibility. Ooh. Sad to say, there is a terrible lack of any and all types of riots outside. It's the worst apocalypse ever. It's still raining though, as you can see by my beautiful umbrella. I'm going outside to do a project for my environmental biology class. We could pick and choose several different things, but all I'm gonna do is basically pick up trash in this weather, because it's kind of now or never. Should have done it sooner. So I just walked past the dude who was parking his car on the side of the road. Then he proceeded to walk uh, and open his trunk, which was filled with clothes and shoes. His clothes and shoes, I hope and assume. But he didn't pick up any of that stuff. He just took out a bottle of Merlot and left somewhere off in a hurry. Gotta say, I'm really curious, of what, who is that dude? Where is he going? What is that bottle, bottle of Merlot for? All right, so it begins. Why the hell are there two Cheez-It fucking boxes over here? <clears throat> oh, jackpot, yeah! Man, somebody had a party here. Oh man, what a lovely shrub! Aha! Shakus, I found you! Man, it's not easy to do this one handed. What a satanic looking tree. I mean, clearly there's a scientific reason for why it looks this way, but uh, it looks mighty satanic to me. Man, I thought it was done. But then I find this mess. Fuck! Ugh. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Elysian space dust? That sounds like drugs to me. Yep. Nothing but drugs. It's more like it. Alright, just got back home. Tired, and I'm wet, and I'm hungry. And in a few hours, I'm going to the gym for the first time in ages. That's just gonna be fun. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a good thing this. Osmo Pocket has a stabilizer or else that shit will be shaking like gray. I got myself a bowl of shush, shut up phone, I'm trying to vlog, God, oh, I got a bowl of melon stuff, I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna watch stuff on YouTube. Could I be any more out of breath? Fuck. Fuck, shut up. Exactly. 
right now it's half past 12 and I should be going to sleep because I have a busy day tomorrow but I suddenly had the incredible craving of getting caramel ice cream so like the responsible adult that I am and walking over to my local supermarket to buy said ice cream and then I'm probably just gonna watch some vines and not go to sleep you know like an adult forced to live with the fact that I bought this and started eating it and finished it all in a single take. I need to get my life together. Get out of here. Okay, so in the last episode, I briefly mentioned that I was getting a head start on my thesis project, a, a animated short film called Raccoon Kid, which I intend to maybe later on use as a pitch for uh, a TV series or something like that. So it gives us time to talk a little bit more about that because today I did some more character designs for that. So to sum it up briefly, um, Raccoon Kid is a sort of Legend of Zelda styled story centered around a kid who uh, is protecting a queen in a fantasy world, blah blah blah, all that stuff. Uh, the kid is constantly dressed in a raccoon pajama suit in the animated short, he and the queen go to see this wizard to have him evaluated as a hero. Uh, but what? What the fuck? That was creepy. But while they're there, they realize that the wizard is in league with the bad guy, and uh, action scenes ensue. I'm trying to keep this as brief and as minimalistic as possible. Uh, because there is a there is a twist to it. Because on the surface, that like this is a very basic story. This is something that you've seen a million times before. But there is a sort of tragic twist to the story that I'm not going to go into in these vlogs. Uh, you guys will just have to see it once the the thesis film is done. Uh, so I've done many different. Uh, concept arts and renditions and versions of Raccoon Kid himself. Like, the design of him has been decided upon a long, long time ago. It's a very dis very basic design. Now all I need to do is to sort of figure out what sort of style I want him to be in. What, what the shape of his head, the shape of his hair, the shape of his eyes, like all of that is something that I have to decide upon and he's probably going to be the last character that I sort of settle on style style wise um, the only other characters that I've done any character designs for are Thade the main bad guy who whom I did not wanna have in a although he is in a cartoonish cell shaded style like all the other characters he stands out in a way that he is not meant to be cute or whimsical or funny he's meant to be kinda scary he's meant, meant to be demonic and kinda like ugh so uh, all the designs that I've made of him, uh, I've tried to fuse in both this sort of uh, dark and scary style and also sometimes a little bit try to go into the sort of the uncanny sort of unsettling way like some of the designs have his face sort of drooping a little bit off to the side like as if he had a stroke or something. Uh, of course there's a lot of symbolism behind what the main villain is but again we're not going to go into that. Oh my god, I'm such a tease. Then there is um, the character Patch. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, like the, the idea of Patch came to me kind of out of nowhere, but I it, it was one of those rare cases where I had like an instantaneous solid idea of what I wanted Patch to be like. Character-wise, I wanted him to be kind of goofy, funny, uh, very unhelpful, and just like very... Uh, much just sort of a comic relief of sorts. Um, style, style wise, I wanted him to have a pumpkin head, you know, hence the name Patch. 
but clothes clothing wise i i immediately knew i wanted him to be dressed as a musketeer don't know why but there's something about that look that makes it kind of endearing to me um i like the idea that patch is one of the queen's guard and they're all so uh inept and unhelpful that she is forced to rely on raccoon kid to protect her and beyond that i still haven't gotten to doing the rest of the character designs but i do need to hash them out pretty soon and i also need to work on the script which i have not done i have outlined the yeah. i have outlined the plot but i haven't written down the script itself which is something that i need to do because right now i have no idea if it's going to be a four hour <laughs> oh my god what brain Please work, god damn. A four minute short. I mean, judging by how much stuff needs to take place in this animated short, I'm not entirely sure if four minutes is gonna cut it. So it might go maybe up to eight minutes, but that is definitely on the long side. It's definitely gonna take a long time to make, but but that is why I'm getting a head start on it. I, I kinda wanna make something ambitious. I kinda wanna make something big. And as with every other story that I make, I kind of want to make it emotional. I want to tuck at people's heartstrings. I want to like make you feel something. That is what I feel is always your main objective as a storyteller. So that's what I've been doing now this Saturday evening. You know, like the party animal that I am. Well, I finished my work. It's Saturday night. It's time to let loose. And by loose, I mean, it's time to eat some pizza. Cause my body is a temple! Ha! Just kidding, it's an amusement park. <laughs> Seriously though, I do need to start eating healthier again. And cook. It's just so damn hard. This is so easy. <laughs> So where are we going again? Glendale. Glendale? Yeah. Right. And neither of you have suits or do you just newer no, I suits? Have, I have a suit. Yeah. A suit. I'm probably going to wear the suit for both days. Oh, well, no, the first day I was just going to wear, I need to get trousers and a shirt, you know? Right. Because we have my suit trousers, which you can't really wear without the suit. True. What is it that you need, Juan? I need shoes, socks, shirts, and suits. All right, mission statement. You're just gonna buy a cheap suit. Is that what you're saying? Wear it forever. Are you recording? What? No, I would never record you. It's a decent fit. The arms are a little loose. Yeah. It's weird because it's a small. I mean, it's still like. Can you can you button up? A button up for me. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, kill him, ooh, kill him, ooh. What about this one? Looks nice. Try it on. <clears throat> How much does it cost? 109, I think. All right. 130 or something. Decent price? Ooh. Decent price, does it fit? Is it a good fit? I don't know. Put it on. I don't know what my we're, size we're, is. We're gonna make either. a fa fashion montage out of this. Yeah. Actually, it looks good. Yeah. Looks you know, very it's, nice. It's too tight. Well, I mean, it's not supposed to be very yeah, wide. Yeah, it's that's why you unbutton it when yeah. you sit down. Well, yeah, but I'm just standing and look. Yeah, but it's called to your figure. <laughs> no, it's just <a> small. <laughs> <laughs> that's the definition of small. It's recording everything? Maybe. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You guys let me go with this hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> What would you say if we would have stopped you when you picked us up? Because you're like, with that hair? Uh uh. <laughs> yes. I like that he's standing against black. So yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, what do you want me to do? I would also like to point out the, the, the hilarity of three men going shopping and needing to <laughs> still, call a yeah, still call a woman just to get fashion advice. I mean, I would have waited for Hannah to come to, <laughs> to, to the space. Oh my, you're 30 something, you should know about this. You'd be amazed at what, how little I know. <laughs> they have a return policy? I think they do. Is, no, most places oh, do. It's a, it's a butt pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's so that Elena can like touch a butt without a team. <laughs> no, that you need to like 
cut that once you get by the series. Oh, so for real? Yeah. Good thing I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Just show oh, up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story about yesterday. I told you I started playing Alien Isolation. Yeah. Right? And I did it with the audio thing on. The mic where uh, the yeah. game registers uh -huh. what you say and uh, the alien can hear it. I forgot my roommate plays his guitar super loud. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the alien kept kill killing uh -huh. it due to music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to it, Taylor, to make it nice and trim. It's better to have more for, the, you know, for him to work for her to work with than to see him him or her dad. So. It's probably a 30, you're probably like a 29. Right, or it's it's 31. Yeah, oh, I'm the 29. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. You're fine. <laughs> so you, you see her nothing. You're fine. Take care, guys. Thanks, man. Huh? Also, right? I like how the inscription is barely legible. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> and then he was like, I don't know why we, why that matters. And she started crying. She's like, No, it needs to be to breakfast. And then he's like, What? He, yeah. And then he was like, Well, you don't need to worry about that because I have a guava. And he took a guava out of his bag, and he ended up eating it, <laughs> giving it to her. Okay, he like changed direction. <laughs> Y'all not gonna read my text. Ooh. Sixteen Elena, mmm, so gross. No, we're sixteen. Ah, that's okay. even grosser. Lick picking. <laughs> <laughs> that's not something Jesus would have done. How do you know? I don't. He that didn't have a cell phone. Didn't have a cell phone back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's Monday now. Got a history of animation test tomorrow. Got to review some notes. So we'll probably be switching between that, playing some games, maybe starting to edit this video. That's gonna pretty much be my plan for today. Oh, and book a rental for the wedding. So I decided to post these videos on Wednesdays. It somehow seemed better than uh, Sundays or Mondays, both being sort of the end and the beginning of the week, where either there's a supreme chill or a lot of stress or whatever. Wednesday's sort of middle of the week, not as much stress. Um, I think that's going to be the best time to post these things. <clears throat> I guess for the last part of this video, I'm just going to do a montage since I've been kind of testing out this camera and the stabilizing function. I tried the other day to run with a camera and it came out quite well. So I went out the following night and did some slow motion shots of traffic and just the city lights, blah, blah, blah. Looks pretty dope. Uh, so you guys enjoy that and I'll see you guys next week.